it, it's easy to praise and worship when everything is going good in your life. Right. But when, when all hell is breaking loose and you're, you still have the hands up in the air and waving them and still praising God, that's impressive. That does bother the devil then. Then he does really care about your praise and worship then. That's another day. And, you know, it's easy to have the hands raised up when all the bills are paid and everything has gone smooth for the week. But then what happens when you're dealing with the trial? Then the hands just go in the pockets. Then on Sunday, you just got both hands are in the pockets and then you're just staying seated in the pew. But what if when all hell is breaking loose, people still around you don't even know that that's going on and you're still praising God because I love this quote. Sometimes we get so busy telling people about our story, we need to share his story. Right. And his story is the story of Jesus and what he did. And what his life looks like is this, in a nutshell, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. And there's not anybody that I can think of, and I know I haven't, you know, gone through that, of what, you know, Jesus was sinless. He didn't do anything wrong. He did all good. Anybody that had a need that came to him, he healed the sick, cast out demons, fed people, cleansed the lepers, raised the dead, and then they beat him. And they spit on him. And they slapped him in the face. And they pulled his beard out. And they put a crown of thorns on his head. And they beat his back. And they put him on a cross and nailed him to a cross. And then stuck a spear in his side. And he's on the cross and he says, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. And in my notes I said, yes, God is near the brokenhearted. Because that is a scripture. God is near the brokenhearted. But then there's also another scripture that says he heals the brokenhearted. So people have the one part, oh, he, he's near the brokenhearted, and he truly is near the brokenhearted. But then it's also good to know there's other scripture that says he heals the brokenhearted, and he bandages up their wounds. So there's healing through Jesus, That's in right. Jesus, and he's the only answer for any of this.